Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. More than 20 days to jam physics with Flash Isaac, episode number three. In this episode, you will learn or understand velocity, distance, kinetic energy, and equations of motions. This is the question we shall be taking a look at. A body of mass 800 grams. Mass is equals 800 grams. Starts from rest. In physics, when a body or an object starts from rest, it simply means that initial velocity is equal to 0 meter per second. This is a way of disguising initial velocity. Instead of them to just tell you initial velocity is zero, they tell you the body starts from rest. And instead of them to tell you final velocity is zero, they tell you the body goes to rest. We know all the tricks. And accelerates uniformly at 2 meters per second squared. 2.5 meters per second squared. So acceleration is equals 2.5 meters per second squared. What else? If a distance of 12.8 meters is covered, distance is equals 12.8 meter. Calculate kinetic energy is question. We are looking for kinetic energy. Now, mechanical energy is divided into kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy a body possesses due to motion. Don't forget, energy is the ability or capacity to do work. So due to motion, the body or object possess kinetic energy. And potential energy is the energy a body or object possess due to position or due to their height. And anytime you are told to find the kinetic energy just before the object hits the ground, it simply means that kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. In other words, know this. If they say just before the object hits the ground or just before an object hits the ground, kinetic energy is equal to potential energy, which means the energy due to motion is equal to the energy due to position. Kinetic energy is half mv squared and potential energy is mgh which means we are asked looking for kinetic energy kinetic energy is equals half mv squared from this formula we have mass 800 grams we don't have velocity which implies that we need to find velocity from these other guys given also when you are solving kinetic energy your mass should be in kilogram and we are given mass in grams we therefore convert from gram to kilogram this becomes 800 over 1000 kilogram to convert mass from gram to kilogram you simply divide by 1000 and what does this give you this will simply give you 0.8 kilogram 
So we have mass to be 0 0.8 kg. How do we get velocity? We get velocity from the equations of motion. Equations of motion. Equation of motion. Distance is the ground covered by an object and velocity is displacement over time. From equations of motion, you can find velocity, you can find distance, or you can find the formula connecting velocity, acceleration, and distance. Now, which of the following equations can help us find velocity? Or which of the following equations can help us find final velocity? Out of these, this and this, only this and this can help us find final velocity velocity v now out of these two this and this that can help us find final velocity which of them have initial velocity and acceleration and distance it is simply this so v squared is equals u squared plus 2 a s u is 0 so v squared is equals 0 squared plus 2 times a 2.5 2.5 times s 12.8 v squared is equals 64 v will simply be the square root of 64 that is equals 8 meter per second this is the velocity which means we have the velocity we need to calculate kinetic energy ke is therefore 1 over 2 times mass in kilogram 0 0.8 times v is 8 but we already have v square we are using v square here we have v square here so you can either say 8 squared here or you simply put 64 which is the same thing as v squared times 64 ladies and gentlemen your kinetic energy is 25.6 joules which is option b so that is it for this question Time for homework. Open your Flash and Adam app. Uh, click on question search. Type kinetic energy. Answer question number four and see if you can answer any of the other questions. If you have problems, chat me up on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Telegram. See you in episode four.